All right, I am going to show you how to rotate um, an object about a point other than the origin. I will encourage you to watch my rotations video, the one that's rotating about the origin first prior to watching this if you're still kind of confused about rotations because in that video I discuss more specifically about rotating 90 degrees, 270, 180. This video I'm going to focus mainly on the point that you're rotating and I'm not going to give you a whole lot of different examples with the different angle measures, okay? Alright, so, um, so for this one, just to kind of zoom in for you, alright, so we have this triangle ABC here. We're going to rotate about this point right here which is the point 2 comma negative 2. What you have to realize here is that when we're rotating about this point when we're rotating about the origin here, that that's different than rotating about this point. And you're almost going to kind of assume that this is the origin. And notice that the object here is, um, is different from this point than it is from the origin. So because of that, we have these pretend points that we're going to make, okay? So what we're going to do is I wrote each of the points here. So point A is at 2 comma 0, B is at 2 comma 3, and C is at 4 comma 0. And we're going to make pretend points. And This is not a mathematical term when I say pretend points. This is my term for these points. Um, but the way we come up with our pretend points and making up again for this shift and what we're rotating around is that we subtract this point, our point of rotation, from each of our coordinates. So I am going to subtract 2 comma negative 2 from each of these points. Okay, now you have to remember your integer rules here. Okay, so A, and I'm putting a little star here, again this is not a mathematical term, this is just my way of kind of helping you follow along with me as I'm saying this. This is going to be my pretend A or my what I'm moving it to. So 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 minus negative 2 is positive 2. My new pretend B, 2 minus 2 is 0. 3 minus negative 2 is 5. And then my pretend C, 4 minus 2 is 2 and 0 minus negative 2 is positive 2. Okay, so these are the points right here, our pretend points, that we're going to apply the transformation to or well, the rotation specifically, okay? And we're going to go 90 degrees counterclockwise. So just look eyeballing the object, I know that it's going this way, a fourth of a turn, okay? And the rule with 90 degree counterclockwise rotation is that you swap your X and Y and change the sign of your X. So I'm going to swap my X and Y, change the sign of my X, swap my X and Y, change the sign of my X, swap my x and y, change the sign of my x, okay? Now, because we subtracted this point from here to get these pretend points, we now have to add it back in to get the new value, okay? So we're going to add it back in, because it kind of cancels out, that just is a way of canceling it out. So we're going to add that point back in. Okay, so negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. So A prime, that's this initial point, um, rotated about this point, 90 degrees counterclockwise, gives us this ending point of 0 comma negative 2. Okay, B prime, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. And then C prime, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, 2 plus negative 2 is 0. All right, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to plot these points. So A prime is at 0 comma negative 2. B prime is at negative 3, negative 2. And then C prime is at 0, 0. And so again, this is shifted this way, and it's shifted a quarter of a turn. So if you look at it, this is like kind of like our pretend um, center now. You can see that you're going a quarter of a turn that way to the left, and that's the counter counterclockwise. 
Okay, so let me do another example with you. Let's say we have this rectangle A, B, C, D, and we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. And it doesn't matter when you're going 180 degrees if you go clockwise or counterclockwise. And our center of rotation is going to be negative 1, comma 2. So when I rotate this, negative 1, comma 2, again, we're going to have to make up each of these points, make our pretend points to kind of make up for this different center of rotation since we're not using the origin. So I'm going to subtract negative 1, comma 2 from each of these points. Okay, and when I do that, I get that my, again, remember this is my pretend A. This isn't a mathematical term. This is just my way of kind of helping you stay with me. Okay, so negative 6 minus negative 1 is like negative 6 plus 1, which is negative 5. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. My, my new B that I'm going to work with here is negative 6 minus negative 1 is negative 6 plus 1, which is negative 5. And 3 minus 2 is 1. Uh, my pretend C, negative 3 minus negative 1 is negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. And then my pretend D, negative 3 minus negative 1 is negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. And then 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So we are applying a 180 degree rotation. And the rule for 180 degree rotation is you just change the signs. So if it's negative, it becomes positive. If it's positive, it becomes negative. So this is going to be 5 comma 1. This is 5 comma negative 1. The C is going to be 2 comma negative 1. And D is going to be um, 2 comma 1. Okay, But again, we have to compensate because we subtracted this rotation point, so now we're going to have to add that point back in, okay? So we're going to have to add in negative 1, comma 2. Alright, so when I do that, my A prime is going to be 6 plus negative 1, which is 4, 1 plus 2, which is 3. So A prime is at 4, comma 3. B prime, 5 plus negative 1 is 4, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. C prime, 2 plus negative 1 is 1, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. And then D prime, 2 plus negative 1 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. So let me graph these. So A is at 4 comma 3. Actually, let me change colors. Okay, A is at 4 comma 3. Um, B prime is at 4 comma 1. Oops, didn't put my prime there. Um, C prime is at 1 comma 1. Actually, yeah, okay. And then D prime is at 1 comma 3. So, oh wait, did I mess up? Yes, I did. That's 1 comma 4. Ooh, that's not a straight line. Oops. All right, you get the idea. All right, so again, you can see that everything is rotated about this a half of a turn. So here is our rotation. Everything's rotated that way, okay, 180 degrees.